a Comanchero bikey who deflected over from Rebels MC has been found dead at a luxury resort in Western Australia. The body of Jason Kemp 39, was discovered floating face down in the private pool of a villa at the Pearl of Cable Beach just after midday on Saturday 11th of February 2023. The hotel staff immediately called the police and paramedics once they discovered him lifeless, and floating face down. Emergency services were rushed to the site but Kemp could not be revived. He had been staying at the five-star resort near the popular tourist area of Cable Beach, with his girlfriend. It is not known how he died and the cause of death is still under investigation, but sources close to the case suspect foul play may be involved. The private cottage and the poolside was secured by the police as they worked to uncover the details of what took place. There were no signs of injury on his body. It is understood Kemp joined Comancheros in 2021 when he left Rebels due to an internal dispute. The exit, occurred after he was savagely beaten by a fellow rebel bikey inside Casuarina Prison in Western Australia. Kemp was left with severe head, facial and internal injuries that required a lengthy hospital stay. After the thrashing Kemp applied for a home detention order and advised the judge that he was no longer a member of rebels and as a changed man, he was subsequently granted home detention. By July 2021, Kemp had blacked out Rebel's tattoo from his forearm and replaced it with Comanchero. He shared all of the transformation photos online. According to police he had a lengthy rap sheet. In addition to drug and driving charges, including reckless driving to escape police pursuit, he was jailed in 2017 for holding his ex-girlfriend and her mother at gunpoint in a four-hour siege with police. Kemp's other criminal records included various offenses relating to driving, drugs, assault, stealing, domestic violence and unlawful possession of weapons. Last year alone, he faced court 20 times for more than a dozen charges, which included grabbing someone's throat, possession of meth, cannabis, and prescription drugs. There were also a string of road offenses, including running red lights, riding a motorbike without a helmet, using a fake number plate and driving with drugs in his system. Like many other new generation bikies, Kemp also had various bikie related tattoos all over his body, he had words respect few, fear none tattooed on his face, crime pays on his left arm and game over on his fingers, he also had 1% and various dragons on his body. He also had Benji, his girlfriend's name inked on his neck. It was clear that he was proud to be a bikie and the tattoos were not just decorative, but a mark of the violent and dangerous life that Kemp lived. The cause of Kemp's death are still unknown. However, as of Monday the 13th February, updating media, police said that they have ruled out any foul play. As a result, a coroner will be examining his body to determine the exact cause of death. This examination will provide important information about Kemp's health and well-being leading up to his death, as well as any potential factors that may have contributed to his death.